Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Total Accurate Battle Simulator, and today we are going to take this wobbler and turn him into Spider-Man, complete with webs and everything. And you may be thinking to yourself, Mr. Crowjack, are you insane? How on earth can he shoot webs? There's no webs and tabs. Oh, you think so, do you? First things first, we need to get the visual appearance of Spider-Man, and... That actually might prove to be the, the biggest challenge. I'm looking for a suit, something that I can like use to separate the blue and the red of Spider-Man. Preferably a skin tight suit, that'd be great. A fair outfit kind of separates the blue and the red. I mean, you can picture the middle being the red and then the outside being the blue. The dino outfit. <laughs> but if we choose that, we'll give him a tail. You know, this, this might do the job. If we take the Tab G web suit and we make this part red, it has to be red. And we're talking like a solid bright red, right? And then the outside is the blue. It has to be a really good blue, like a, a solid, you know, Spider-Man blue. And the silver bit also has to be Spider-Man blue. Okay, we're on to something. This is the beginnings of our... <laughs> now we need gloves. We gotta cover up those uh, those hands with some lovely red. Where am I gonna find some red gloves? They can't be too bulky. They gotta be kind of like streamlined. What, like tiny, tiny? Oh wait, we've done this before. We've done this in the uh, the Among Us video. These gloves here are perfect. And when you get the right color, boom! We've got Spider-Man with a pretty decent booty. I gotta say, Spidey, 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 looking pretty good. I gotta do the same thing to your feet. You need boots wait it was um 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 there was a specific shoe that worked really good for the among us video and it was do, 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 the wild west shoes yes the wild west shoes looked really really good they're not too bulky they're fantastic you take it you grab the red you cover it in the correct tone of red and voila his feet are done look it's it, it's spider man <laughs> okay we got we got a ways to go we gotta find something to do with his face because if you look look at his eyes i mean you gotta cover him up we need a mask of sorts. Is there even a mask in this game? Hey, look, it's Spider-Man. Get it? Because his face is a spider. Catterman? No. I could use one of these, but I can't change the color of them. So those aren't going to work, though. The smiley face is really creepy. I need a mask. A regular, like a, a ballroom party kind of mask thing. Something to cover his eyes. Clown face? No, <laughs> it's hideous. Man, I'm not seeing what I have in my mind. What I have in my vision. Just this perfect concept of a mask. These goggles are bad. And I don't know if we take them and color them black. Is that going to do the job? Uh, not quite. This could help. This could help. The, the balaclava could definitely help. We take the balaclava, we color it the red. This will definitely assist in covering up his face. But we gotta do something about his eyes. Oh, tab G hero mask. Tab G hero mask. Here it is. This. Oh, guys. Yes. We're, we're, onto, we're onto something. We're kind of finding the Spider-Man look. I mean, oh, can I change? Where, this is the band? Can I change that back to red? Is that gonna help? Oh, we're on to something. But you can still see his eyeballs. That's that's wrong. How do we fix that? What can we do to his... Oh, wait, hold on. The, uh, the, 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 the peasant's eyes. Either the super peasant or the dark peasant. One of those might be able to do what we want. Legacy, we can do... There! Look! Look at that. Look at that. It's like Spider-Man eyes. That's fantastic. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's really good. Spider-Man is coming along nicely, but something's... Something's missing and I can't quite put my finger on it. Let me just go over here and grab a picture of Spider-Man. So the webbing across his body, we can't quite do, but he has a, a spider emblem, a black spider emblem on his chest. We need something to kind of like maybe closely do that or else he just looks like a dude in pajamas. <laughs> no. no, we can't do that. Oh. You know, if we take this and we just make it black, that's not bad. I mean, it's not, it's not the Spider-Man symbol, but it kind of looks like it. You know what's missing? Pants. He, he's supposed to be blue in the bottom half. That's what's throwing me off right now. I'm staring at this for like 10 minutes going, something's missing. Something's wrong. Something's missing. He's blue pants. You know, if I do something like this, 
that's not bad because it still gives him the red boots, right? Take this, turn it blue, and that gives him the blue shorts while maintaining the red boots. Now we're starting to look a little bit more like Spider-Man. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we can make this unit look more like Spider-Man if we try. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And now for the fun part. This, guys, right here is how we're going to do the webbing. Let's go with the dark peasant throw. You're thinking to yourself, Mr. Crowjack, he doesn't have dark peasant hands. You're right. He doesn't have dark peasant hands. What we can do is change the projectile all the way down to what we'll substitute as our webbing here in tabs. And that's going to be the lasso. Wait until you see what these things do. Now we're going to add his special abilities. He's jumpy, he's nimble, and he's got some dodge capabilities. We're going to find some dodging. I think he's gonna dodge projectiles like a madman. He needs a kick of sorts, something to give him the jester kick. He needs to jump into battle. Do we give him the monkey king jump? If we do that, he, he gets a monkey king tail and that's just completely wrong. <laughs> Halfling jump's not good enough. I think we give him the super jump from the, the berserker. Give him a charge and he needs another dodge. I'm thinking a chogan dodge now for the stats 100 hp let's give him 10,000 hp he's killable he's more than killable i mean it's spider-man but he's got a lot of hp size is fine weight is fine speed is fine attack speed i don't want to increase this too too much i wanted to have a more realistic fighting style but the damage i wanted to be fairly strong so we're giving him a times 10. now let's take a picture of our lovely spider-man <laughs> that looks ridiculous actually the icon looks legit. I'm not going to lie. Take a look at Spider-Man. I think he looks really good. I think he did a very good job recreating our webbed hero here in totally accurate battle simulator. Like, that's legit. Points. You know what I mean? Points for making him look as good as we have. Now to see how well this guy fights. I'm very curious. For our first fight, we have Spider-Man here on the rooftops versus our thugs down below. Will Spider-Man be able to apprehend the enemies? Or will the enemies... Cut him down. We're gonna find out in three, two, one, go. Spider Man jumps off the roof. Look at that and look at the web, the lasso ability. That dark peasant hands fire out so many lassos, and now he has roped them all up and apprehended every single enemy. He can dodge, Angel, little Spider Man. He's kind of, he's kind of, uh, he's kind of, how do I word this without saying the word I wanna say? He's kind of sassy. If you watch the way he fights, he kind of dodges and, and taunts. The way Spider-Man really does. I also like that when he flops around, he pulls all the units with him. Look at that jump <laughs> in the back end. He's putting his butt in the nice face. That's Spider-Man. Sassy, taunting, funny. The charge, the dodge, the... Hey, Spidey, Spidey, jump off the ground. Um, hey, you have a job to do, okay? You need to save the people. <laughs> webbing comes out look at that that is so good and now he's stuck you're stuck behind a tree spidey you're okay they're fine <laughs> can if i take control of them can i can i pull spidey uh, spidey spidey you can't i have nothing he's um this is um a very unfortunate situation <laughs> Spider-Man is surrounded. Berserkers on every side. I just want to see what happens. We have all these leaping agile units. The lassos come out. The webbing. I bet you if we increase the attack speed. Oh, no. He's pulling the berserkers with him. The berserker jump, chaining into the berserker jump, is doing a crazy job. There's the lassos. I love it. We've done such a good job with Spider-Man, guys. It's fantastic. He's so good. A bit of a harder challenge. For Spider-Man, some melee units, some ranged units, and then some ballistas. There's the last host. I'm hoping Spider-Man doesn't get pulled into the pit. Oh, Spider-Man, I love you so much. You're such a wonderful unit, but now you're falling to your death. I would love to see Spider-Man have some kind of a wall climb ability. Or if a wall climb ability even existed in this game. Goodbye, Spider-Man. We're going to take this wobbler and upgrade him into Miles Morales. You guys remember my Spider-Man from one of the previous episodes? Well, this time we're going to do a new version of Spider-Man. I need to make a very difficult decision. Do I do Miles Morales like this with his beautiful outfit? Or do I try and do Miles Morales more like this wearing a hoodie? 
I'm kind of leaning towards the hoodie, but only if we can pull it off. Let's see what happens. First things first, we're going to go to the clothes and we're going to go and grab the superhero mask. There's going to be a lot of similarities between Miles Morales and Spider-Man for, well, obvious reasons. So I gotta be honest, I think Miles Morales is cooler. I mean, come on, black and red, way better than just red and blue. Where did that, 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 that Tab G mask go? Where did the superhero mask go? I can't remember. You know what? I'm gonna search for super, super, it's not there. Okay, hero, there it is. The Tab G superhero mask. And this time we're gonna color it red instead of the usual black. No, this is actually the band. The band becomes black and the mask itself shall become red and therefore boom we're done ladies and gentlemen this is the end of the video i'm kidding oh my god please please don't leave please now to give it that that white look because you can't see the eyes of any of the spider men we're gonna add the war goggles war war, war, war just type in war aha the world war goggles you take them you color the green bit white boom white eyes and then the rest of it you color black because it's gonna fit in with the black outfit that we're gonna give our lovely Spider-Man just like that. Now, it looks like he's wearing a wonderful spider mask. All right, let's let's uh, let's continue with the head. We gotta cover that head with something large and black, large and black. So I'm thinking like, you know those ski masks? The ski masks you used to wear like, you ever been skiing? I've never, I've never been skiing. I live in Canada, I'm surrounded by snow, but I've never been skiing, but I have worn a uh, balaclava what's called uh, i think it's a russian word but uh, this one boom tab g balaclava ball it's a weird word to say balaclava there now it's black it looks like it's kind of like an outfit that your mom made for you so you can pretend to be spider man <laughs> it's kind of what it's looking like right now i can make this at home <laughs> take a balaclava take some ski goggles take some construction paper put the red construction paper over your eyes i can be spider man <laughs> but right now it needs something around the the face i'm not sold on this look just yet we need we need something up there to give it more of a spider-man look and i'm just not feeling it yet what about a ninja cow you know that's kind of legit minus the fact that it gives you like the weird things out the back like if i call this black i mean it looks cool but it's not spider-man little back things are not spider-man though that looks so much better in the face so what about the other ninja cowl that just does the bottom take it color it black Ooh, I like that. It gives it a bit more of a, a, a nice chiseled Spider-Man jaw or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I think the Spider-Man face is pretty much done. Now for the Spider-Man body, and you know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. You know what we're going to do. It is the skin tight wetsuit painted black. Because the wetsuit, no, not any of these clothes here. The wetsuit is perfect for Spider-Man. Then again, let's be real. The wetsuit is perfect for pretty much any superhero because superheroes wear skin tight spandex boom we've got our black spider outfit and again we have to cover the hands and cover the feet and we've done that before we've done that for spider-man we've done that for tons and tons of people we need the will nil will, will niles i don't know what that says we need these gloves colored black to look wonderful and then we need what, what was the boots it was like a, a, a wild west shoes wow it was the western shoe something like that because they were small they were tiny and they fit the feet really good look right there boom see take that color it black and it is fantastic now miles morales you can't see anything of him he's just pure black though looking at these pictures Miles Morales' gloves are red. He has red fingers on his gloves. So maybe we take the gloves and we make them red. I mean, I can't make just the fingers because what? Tab units don't have fingers. How, how do they grab weapons? If you don't have fingers or thumbs, how do you grab anything? We'll give him red gloves because red fingers of Miles Morales. We're looking pretty good, but now we need the Spider-Man symbol. And if you remember, we used that necklace as a spider symbol. But I have a question. Do we have anything else? add because of the new units the new secret units added in the last update some way to give miles morales a little bit more than just that little symbol on the chest so before we gave miles this one and used that as a spider symbol we also have the cross i don't know no that's gonna work you've got the raptor rider necklace eh, don't know about that one the tab g Pimpin' out necklace and then the Tab G money necklace, as well as the monk beads. I still think 
that this necklace colored red is the best we're gonna do to give him a spider emblem kind of look. Now, in these pictures, Miles Morales has a lot of red in the upper chest. I'm talking like he's this really cool spider weapon thing going on. How do I do that to this in tabs with the limited clothing that we have? How do I give him the upper chest red? I need like a weird cape shawl thing around their shoulder. I don't know why. I need something to get, I mean, we need some red up top. I also don't want to give him a cape because Miles Morales doesn't have a cape. <laughs> doesn't have a cape in the slightest. A spooky scarf. No, not a scarf. Banshee chains. Oh, we need to make something cool with these. Like Spawn, though many of you don't know what Spawn is. See, the worst part is you need to give him the red around the front, but not as much around the back. Oh, were we also going to try the hoodie look? Uh, we got to experiment with a hoodie look later. There's really not much in here that's going to do the job. Um, maybe let me just check. That's interesting. Again, compared to the picture, you've got lots of red up top that gives us red up top. It's not super bulky. It's okay. It's just okay. Again, we're trying to work with what we have here in totally Acro Battle Simulator. <laughs> we have limited options. And that's pretty much it for the red up top. Now, the really, 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 really important question. Is it possible to give Miles Morales his hoodie, his signature hoodie that he is seen using in certain comics or certain instances. I think that would definitely differentiate him from just being a black and red Spider-Man. Do we have a hoodie for him? Let's take a look here in the tab G section. There are some hoodies. Like there's this one, but there's I can't really give it any red accents. Well, let's slap it on, right? And let's color it black. And now he's, he's wearing a hoodie, but he kind of looks like he has cat ears. His mask. <laughs> kind of looks like cat ears. However, he is wearing a hoodie. It's an option. We'll remove it for now. I'm not completely sold on it just yet. Are there any other hoodie options? There's a Tab G chemical outfit. That's a bit strange. And I highly doubt that I'm going to find any hoods anywhere else in this list of chest objects. I mean, you do have the spooky hood. I mean, that's, that's a lot of hood right so the problem is you take the spooky hood and you turn it black and i'm not sold on the miles morales look it, it's okay but there's this, this weird little thing up front it's not very miles morales maybe if we go over here oh oh i can give him a half decent hood here so i've got like the the winter hood no it's got to be one of these hoods any one of these hoods so basically how much do i want i can just add the spooky hood right it's just the hood part, turn that black, and all of a sudden, Miles Morales is wearing a hood. But it, it's not like the hoodie from the pictures. So I think we're going to have to go without the hood and just rock the black and red Spider-Man look. No belts, nothing else. Shoes are black, gloves are red, some red in the upper, the white eyes. Guys, I think we've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is as far as we can go with our Miles Morales look here in Totally Accurate Battle Center. Comment down below and let me know what you think. How did I do on a scale of one to 10? Now for the weapons. We did have that one, that one way of making them throw out spider webs and that was the lasso. So we would take the dark peasant hands, the dark peasant throw, just like this. And then we would change it from dark peasant to lasso, but I want to make them different than Spider-Man. So instead of lassos, I want to do something else, but still be spider webbing. We're going to go with harpoons. A little bit meaner, to be honest. A little bit meaner than lassos. Lassos, like you get surrounded by the webbing. You're like, oh, the webbing's around me. I'm caught. Oh no. The harpoon kind of like punctures you, which is like mean. <laughs> it's more, I don't know if it's more fitting or less fitting, but we're going to do it. Harpoons. He's going to throw the harpoons. Now we need to give him some agility. I want him to be hopping and kicking butt because Miles Morales is awesome. We're going to give him the super jump and we're going to give him, I'm thinking, I want some punches and some kicks. So we're going to do like a Taekwondo kick, make him flop around like that. We're going to punch. I need a really good punch. A really good punch. Like a super boxer punch. Super boxer punch. That's pretty legit. All right. Super boxer punch. We're going to do, I need some def. Deflecting. Can Spider-Man deflect? No, but he is able, his spider sets, he's able to dodge. So we're gonna give him an amazing dodge. So I'm thinking either the Jester dodge or the Shogun dodge. And I'm gonna say the Jester dodge. Let's go with the Taekwondo kick. And then after all that, he needs a way to close the distance. He does have the leap and that's pretty strong. 
None of these abilities make sense for Spider-Man in the slightest. I'm thinking we give him the Knight's Charge. So you can charge into battle, jump into battle, kick, dodge, and have a big old Super Boxer Punch. I think that's phenomenal for all Miles Morales, guys. Stats, we're going to give him a bunch of HP so he doesn't die right away. A size is fine. Actually, how, how tall is Miles? I'm six foot, so we'll have six foot be size 1.0, which is the baseline. Miles Morales, how, how tall are you, buddy? According to Google, Miles Morales is 5'8", which is four inches smaller than me. So I will make him 90%. Just a little bit. No, not 90 times. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. 90%. Just a little bit shorter than me. I'm six foot. He's 5'8". There you go. 90%. Weights leave the same. Movement speed. I want to make him a little bit quicker. I mean, he's supposed to be agile. Attack speed. We'll give him some attack speed. And then damage. We'll give him some extra damage. Here he is. Our Miles Morales looking phenomenal a black and red spider-man i love the look of this outfit he actually looks legit and the harpoons should be way more effective than the, the lassos now it's time for miles morales to fight these squires in three two one go <laughs> Miles Morales is legit, but now he's facing the Dynasty faction. Miles, are you, are you doing okay? <laughs> doing okay in there, bud. You seem to be a little bit stuck. How about you um, extricate yourself from all of these dynasty units here? Let me uh, let me help you out. There you go. Hey, you're doing good. Oh, look at these archers. <laughs> here, you you finish the job, Miles. <laughs> oh, God. Miles Morales is just insane. Leaping in. Harpooning all of these units using his web to deadly effect. Look at that. It's it's almost too much. Like, what have we done to Spider-Man? What have we done to Miles Morales? This is just a little bit ridiculous. He becomes a ball of humanity surrounded by, by boats and people, and he's not really able to do anything. The harpoons seemed like a great idea. Oh, there was a super the, the super peasant punch. Super boxer punch. Miles Morales is leaping around. He is agile. He is a, a very, very, very powerful. We're going to upgrade this wobbler and turn him into Venom. We're going to make him as big and bulky and intimidating as he humanly can, given the constraints of this game. And before we begin, um, I have uploaded some of my favorite creations into the workshop and tabs. You've got Brody, Maximus, Eins Ulgon, Bale, Larry the Transcendent, and Naruto. Just uh, search my name and you'll find them. It is time to make Venom. And how am I going to pull this off? Because Venom is this, this beast of a, a thing, a creation, a symbiote. How do we do that? I don't even know where to begin. Torso. Let's start with the torso. We need to make him beefy. 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 It's gotta be huge. How about we start with a skin tight suit just in case any of his limbs are poking out. Now remember, Venom is black, dark as night there. So that's my base. Why, why, why can I see his arm? There's the base of Venom, but we need to make him like thick. He's huge in the upper body. He is a beast of a man. So if I layer enough clothing, can I thicken him out? I'm looking for like, I want body armor. You know what I mean? I, I want to make him as thick as I humanly can. So we'll start with some medieval chest armor, call that black, and continue to work on broadening him. He needs to be thicker in the shoulders. He needs to be thicker in the biceps because this guy's got guns for the gun show. You know what I mean? You know, doing all this, adding all these torso items, making them thick in the chest, there is a downside to this. And that downside is that we can't create the white emblem on his chest. But you know, if we removed all of this and made this portion here white 
like this. And I hid his lower half and I hid his arms and I hid his back. But I leave the bones there to act like the venom chest. Hmm, this might be worth trying. It took three different pairs of pants, but I pulled it off and I covered up his legs. Now, what are those vampire boots? Those are really close to covering everything. Color them black just like that. So close. Mm, the executioner boots might be enough to do the job and completely hide the fact that there's any- Oh, the toes! Why are there toes? I need to find something to cover those toes. There. Boom. Medieval shoes. <laughs> I'm wearing three pairs of shoes and like four pairs of pants, but I've covered the bottom half. Oh no, the arms. That's gonna be impossible. Not like you just have sleeves chilling here in the arms. I mean, if you use a cloak, it kind of covers everything, leaving the chest exposed for that venom symbol. I have a vision in my head, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna pull it off. I'm gonna do my best for you. You know, venom does kind of have like claws, right? You know that, right? Like he's kind of got claws. Like a kitty cat claws. Oh, what am I doing? This, this isn't gonna work. This is terrible. So I've covered his arms, I've covered his legs, I've covered his torso, not that elbow apparently, and his chest is now exposed for that venom look. But what about the face? What about the face? How do I how do I make a venom face? He's got like these teeth and these eyes, and I don't know how to do it. I have all these head options. So many head options. Where's the executioner? So let's start there. Let's let's cover his face so no one can see him at the very least. Then maybe we'll find something that looks like a venom face. Executioner hood, color it black. Okay, now how do we how do we turn that into like a I don't know what to call that venom face? I can make him look like Godzilla. No, oh, I can't do Godzilla. <laughs> An angler fish. No. Wait a minute. 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 That's not bad. That's not bad at all. If we just kind of color it a little bit and make Venom's eyes white. That's okay. Okay. Considering it's tabs and we have limited options, that's not terrible. The only problem is that he, he's still too skinny. He's not thick and meaty. Hold on, just a quick thought. Switch to a uh, halfling. <laughs> okay, no, never mind. Stiffy, even skinnier, wilder, stiffy, no difference with the halfling. I was thinking about doing halfling and then making him like really tall, but no, that, that doesn't work. Okay, maybe if we add the dark peasants reaper wings the reaper wings like the the tendrils of the symbiote it kind of helps a little bit with the appearance i'm still kind of upset about the shoulder space and if i could do a tongue that would be just like complete win see the only thing you can add to his shoulders are literal shoulder plates i mean i could take a bunch of these different ones paint them black add oh Oh no, I'm limited. I'm running out of options. Well, I'm very happy we've gotten at least this far because he looks pretty decent considering he's got the white in the chest. He's got the teeth. He's got some eyes. He's got some a little bit of thickness in the shoulders. He kind of pulls it off. The jacket, I'm going to be honest, this jacket, like, but then got his arms exposed. Maybe we should try and hide his arms some more. Any way to hide his upper arms efficiently. <laughs> I literally just want to give him sleeves and it's not happening. This is elaborate. The, I doubt this is going to work. Um, okay. Never mind. That actually worked rather well. It's not as billowing as the last jacket and it covers everything nicely and it leaves his white chest exposed and it's, it's, that's not bad. <laughs> It's not bad. And the best part about it, I was able to remove some of the excess glove bits that we don't need. Now, if I can just find a red tongue, we have won. If, if, if I could find one. Something, something to act as a red tongue. And we've literally won this Venom outfit. <laughs> the beard is almost like a tongue, except it's coming out of the wrong part. <gasps> oh, 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 the hat. No, no, look. Look at the tongue, perfect tongue, but there's a Christmas hat. I want to give Venom a Christmas hat or a birthday hat. No, we're so close. I could almost take this clown mask, color this part black, all of this black, leaving the nose is red and it's like, it's a decent alternative. We'll go back to that in case we can't find exactly what we're looking for. The duck bill. Um, this is really, really close. Wrong red. I need a, I need a red. I need a brighter red. 
if the duck bill didn't come out beneath his teeth, it would have been perfect. <laughs> There's a little bit of mask. Hold on, let me zoom in on the face. There's a little bit of mask poking through here. I could take that mask, color it red, but it doesn't come out. It's just kind of there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hold on please let me color the eye please please oh my goodness oh my goodness is this possible have we found a way oh that tongue if i could just hide the eyes somehow how do i hide those eyes we're this close to perfection guys wait wasn't there wasn't there a headband of sorts that removed the eyes um um head no um um i uh cover oh where was it where was it where was it this one here no the eyes don't get removed oh no this gotta be something guys this this nose is the perfect tongue we have to find a way i will not take no for an answer does this man in the iron mask thing is it possible to cover the eye holes or is it not nope nope ah! wait wait Wait, 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 wait. I found some sunglasses with lenses. I can color black. That is so good. That is so close. I mean, you can kind of see his blinking eyes and some red up in his mouth. I don't know what that red in the mouth is. I removed an extra vest I didn't need. Can I get even just one more? We're so close. It's so close to perfection. Oh my God. I gotta cover that thing up top. Tab G, durag, take the durag, color it black. We've colored the red up top. Guys look at our venom ladies and gentlemen this is the visual appearance of our venom completely finished he is black as night he has his red tongue he is as close to venom as we're ever gonna get in totally accurate battle simulator comment down below and give me a score out of 10 how well do you think we did now for the powers he doesn't get any weapons i'm gonna give him actually i'm gonna give him the ice giant punch because that's the most fitting thing for venom a big old fisty punch thing that's fantastic the reaper wings represent the symbiote that can come out of his body and latch onto things we've seen that time and again throughout the old cartoon shows and all throughout the comics and stuff like that so we know he can do the whole symbiote rippy army becky thing going on we're gonna give him a knight's nice charge to close the distance I might take one of these hands and convert it into the harpoon trick that we had before. Take the dark plasm throw, and instead he can throw the harpoons because his symbiote can latch out and grab onto things and pull it to him for him to punch in the face. You know what I mean? There we go, harpoon. So one hand is for punching, the other hand is for grappling. He does need a bit of a jump attack. He's quite powerful. His legs are very strong. So I'm gonna go with the super jump and close the distance as well. A minotaur charge. Seriously, he's gonna zoom around the battlefield and punch stuff because it's venom. And maybe we'll give him a dodge. We'll give him the painter's dodge. Just the defensive ability. So far, so good. Stats. He has a lot of HP, but nothing as powerful as some of the more broken things we've created. He's powerful but not insanely strong. Venom is seven foot six. So if I'm six foot, and we said six foot is a score of one in the size, 7.6, oh my God, that's massive. He's so huge, he's 500 pounds. This guy's a beast. We'll increase it by like 1.5, like that, fantastic. And the weight we're gonna give it, uh, just make him heavy very thick movement speed he's nimble and he's quick attack speed will increase that by a bunch and damage will increase that by a bunch take a lovely picture of our venom fantastic and before we try him out we'll upload him to the workshop so you guys get to enjoy him too here is our venom in all of his glory he looks fantastic there we go back here his face was brown but up close his coloring is proper i love how he looks let's test him out one of the fights is definitely going to be versus spider-man and wolverine but for now we need to fight something just a little bit simpler to see how well he works Boone might uh, 
be a bit too much. Or I just reduce the attack speed and keep the damage nice and high. Now to try the new fixed venom against Spider-Man and Wolverine. We're gonna take this wobbler and upgrade him into carnage that's right boys and girls we're gonna take him and turn him into the big red and black demonic looking evil red symbiote and we're probably gonna make him fight venom at the end of this video this is going to be an interesting challenge and i think the first thing we need to find is gonna be the headpiece that dinosaur like headpiece that will let me give him the carnage toothy kind of look i just don't remember exactly where it is. I tried searching for Dino and I tried searching for teeth and nothing showed up. Oh, it's the wooden lizard head. That's right. It's this one. And we're going to do the tongue trick that we learned way back in the day. It was a, a mask, a kabuki mask to make the tongue. Where, where did that tongue go? Looking for the, oh, this one. It was the kabuki mask. There you go. Kabuki mask, take all of this and color it black on the inside. Now, how do we hide the face last time? Was it, wasn't it like, it's, it's balaclava, I think. Balaclava didn't do anything. Let me just check Venom really quick. How do we? How do we? How do we do this? Um, Executioner Hood and Tab G goggles to hide the eyes. Tab G goggles to hide the eyes. Executioner Hood for the face. Do I have to? Grab the Tab G goggles, take them, and we're gonna make everything go black to help cover the face. See, we're beginning to cover it. But we have to hit the rest of the kabuki mask and cover that completely. Also, this lizard head needs to be the beautiful red. And remember, not only is it a beautiful red, it also has to have a whole boatload of black accents, right? So the eyes can be white, but this can be black because because Carnage is a mixture of black and red. He's not just straight red. Oh, what if I take the, ta the CP mask and I color that black? Ooh, that helps to hide the inside of the mouth. Not too shabby. Now, the inside of his mouth is black. I actually really like that. That turned out really good for Carnage. Though so the sides of his head still show a little bit of red. How do I hide that? The balaclava, maybe? Yep, that bal uh, yep, that helps to hide it. Okay, take that. Color it black. There we go. Inside of mouth, completely black. Tongue sticking out. Carnage is looking really good in the uh, upper half. Now we need to start finding pieces of clothing that can be both black and red to really make this Carnage look good. I'm looking for clothes that will allow for... Ooh, actually right here. This is a perfect example. So watch, you can have the dark red of Carnage, but you can also have the black accents. Because as you guys remember from all the pictures and from everything you've seen of Carnage, he is definitely this, this mixture of black and red. This hybrid. I want to go with a brighter red than that, which means I'm actually going to modify the head, give it a brighter red like that. Fantastic. 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 Oh, we're going to make a sweet carnage. It looks so good, guys. Hmm. All of these. No, no cape. No cape. I need something that again, I can add. I can add the, the black bits to. We're not going to do across the chest, not the wings, not the plates, none of this. These aren't bad. I go without the hip parts, right? I take this, I color this the beautiful red, and then I take this and I color the black. Okay. All right, we're, we're kind of on to something here, I think. 
that mixture of black and red. Because on Carnage, it's 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 interwoven, it's mixed around. It's hard to like see any straight lines and stuff. It's just it's just madness because he's he's insane. I don't want to make Carnage too big and too bulky. He's a little slim, trim kind of guy. So I'm just trying to find the right places of clothing, right right look for Carnage. Medieval vests. I still want him to look strong. I don't want him to look bulky. Hmm. Need to cover his arms more i might run out of clothing slots <laughs> this could be bad i need more i need more i need more 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 you know what i mean like more black and red more variety you know i can take these barrels and i can like make this part red right and then make this part like black okay we got more of that black and red color. <laughs> oh man i'm literally <laughs> Using barrels <laughs> for carnage. <laughs> what a joke, man. Okay, let's get let's get a bodysuit on here, okay? Uh, he needs uh, probably the skeleton suit. Makes the most sense to me, right? Because you have that black and red. All right, so you make the majority of it the red. And then you make the little bit bones of black. So, you know, if we see... Actually, that's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look pretty legit, guys. This carnage. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We need more. We need even more. You know what? These are gonna these are gonna work. Right? Again, we talked about that. Take 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 this, right? Go red. <laughs> and then go black. It's got a lot of that red and black look. It's not bad. <laughs> Using barrels, guys. Oh man. Okay, so his hands are claws, right? His, his hands are claws. We gotta find some really nice claw kind of looking things. It's probably gonna be the kitty cat claws. Uh, I don't want to do. I don't want to do kitty cat claws. I don't. I don't. I'll do something else. Maybe we'll just give him some uh, Wild West gloves, right? Like that. Get the Wild West gloves. Make that the correct shade of red there. Now it's a different shape, but it's not so weird. It's not kitty cat claws on a carnage. Uh, you know what? The coloring? I'm not sold on it. One second. I'm going to darken up the coloring just a tad. There we go. That's a much better color. The problem is his feet don't kind of cut it. We need more call monster feet, monster feet, monster feet, monster feet. Take the monster feet, make it the beautiful red, add the black toenails. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is really starting to look like carnage. I love it. Now, just to help with the, uh, the appearance of carnage, we are going to add a little certain something, something. A little wings, a little river wings to represent the symbiote that you always see coming off of Carnage. I mean, sometimes you see it come off of Venom, but Carnage is always like enveloping him. And speaking about enveloping Carnage, there was this one picture I saw of Carnage where I saw Carnage like being tied, almost held together by his symbiote, almost containing him like chains. I removed the metal chest plate, exposing more black, which is fitting. And I want to add the banshee chains can i color the i can't color the banshee chains something about this visualization of carnage being like you're trying to contain him you're trying to arrest him to put him in prison and you're chaining him up and it just it's just so cool i love it i love it so much ladies and gentlemen this is the physical appearance of our carnage i tried really hard to go for that red and black madness look that carnage's symbiote looks like and i chained him up as if you're trying to arrest him, but clearly you're going to fail miserably. Comment down below and give me a rating out of 10 and tell me what you think, how well I did designing the look of this carnage. So for the weapons, we already had the reaper wings and stuff like that. What can carnage do? For abilities, we're going to give him a super jump so he can close in the distance very quickly. We're going to give him a big headbutt because that just seemed like a fitting ability for someone as crazy as Carnage. Also, the enrage ability makes sense considering he's bloody insane. And we will give him the knight's charge to also help him close the distance. For weapons, we're probably going to go with the uh, the giant punch. I almost said the Mizar punch. That's not right. The giant punch because he's only able to really punch things and have these humongously powerful attacks. So giant punches with all this crazy speed and speaking about that the speed carnage is pretty darn quick we're gonna give it a times 20 he's gonna close distance great attack speed times 100 damage times 100 hit points we'll give him some zeros he's not a mortal but we'll give him some zeros for fun size and weight how tall is carnage carnage is 6'1 so he's actually a little bit taller than me so we'll make him a 1.1 just a little bit bigger a little bit bigger take a lovely picture 
of our lovely carnage. Look at that. That's such a good picture. Oh, it's awesome. Last second for a spin. Here is our carnage unit and look at him. He looks phenomenal. He looks so good. Can't wait to see what he's going to do against Venom. And speak of the devil, there is Venom Carnage versus Venom. Venom through the dirt. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more awesome creation videos, click the links on the screen. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.